So for the design, if we're working on the basis that this is the seabed, okay. and then we're working up yeah. from here. I just want to experiment a minute, Joe, here, because I think I'd like to just try this one there and bring this one up so that we can try and get maybe a bit of a sense of variation and flow. If you just wet the sole, the sole's there. Wet the sole. I know. Oh, yeah. What we're doing is we're photographing them so that we can recreate them. And then the plants are going to have to be packed up and sent off to America, where they're going to go to be put in the perspex and glass. There's still quite a lot of things that could go wrong at this stage, and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that everything is going to go according to plan. It's catching on this flap here. You've got to have to get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I want to wave it goodbye. This is my baby, gone off. Okay. It's gone. They've come back intact, thank goodness. Can't see any shattered glass or scratches. The glass is extremely heavy and difficult to manoeuvre, and you can imagine sort of one false move, and they could topple over. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I think they're looking quite, quite stunning actually, but they need um, white, they need something light behind them. I want people to get a real sense of the beauty and the scale of the kelp forest. But there's a much deeper purpose to this project. In other parts of the world, kelp forests are disappearing, probably due to climate change. So I've started to do a survey at the British coastline to see if I can find out what is happening off our shores. This is a southerly site, which makes it interesting because we know that some of the kelps are disappearing in the south and being replaced by other species. We've got some equipment which will be able to take photographs underwater, a sonar which will give us a trace of directly what's underneath the water. You can see just coming up the kelp stipe here. Very nice developed red understory, some coralline algae just through here. If you watch now carefully as we go along a bit further, you'll be able to just see here and that's a non-native. The kelp seems to be holding on in Lulworth Cove, but we've also seen in some of our footage a large amount of sargassum, which is a non-native species which has spread very rapidly around Britain. So there's plenty of evidence of change and this is really worrying. I'm really pleased with the way that the panels have turned out and I hope that everyone who comes to see them will be taken by just the scale of them and the sheer beauty of them and the colour of them. 
it's absolutely vital that we value these incredible habitats and do everything we can to protect them. It's beautiful. I really feel as if I'm in the kelp forest. It's lovely.